So this is a story of how I moved to New York City alone at 20 years old. It's a fun one. I spent the entire two weeks at Michigan wanting to leave, but the morning of the big day, I suddenly was scared. I think it's so easy to take advantage of the comforts of home and resent the silence of suburbia. But when fantasy turns into reality and you're fully let go into the world, you hesitate and wonder if you're really up to the task. I am living in New York City this summer all on my own. Unlike last time, I don't have a group of friends to fall back on. This summer, this city, it's really up to me to mold into whatever I want it to be. And that is simultaneously terrifying and extremely exciting. This is crazy! New York, baby! Part two! So I just got to my place, and this place is actually really, really nice. It's so much better than the dorm I stayed in last year. Let me show you guys. Let me give you guys a little bit of an apartment tour. So you walk in, and this kitchen's eh, it's just a normal kitchen, right? There's literally, so I'm subleasing it from this like NYU student, but there's literally nothing in this living room. Like no couch, no table, whatever, it's fine. But this is gonna be the bedroom. Cute, cute. We got a little bed, a desk situation. You know, I appreciate his decorations. Whoever lived here before, okay, you got pretty good taste. Then we have the bathroom. Cute. Like look at how big this closet is, guys. This is unheard of. The biggest reason I love this place is because of the light. I think it's east facing. And there's just so much wonderful morning light in here. It's, it's so much better because I literally stayed, like last time when I stayed here, it was like this fucking hell hole with, I was facing another wall. This is the outfit of the day. We are just wearing this like white top this sport choker and some tennis shoes. We're going to go run some errands, but I think before we do, it's noon and I haven't eaten anything since four. So I'm gonna go to my favorite, like literally the best banh mi in the city. It's so good, banh mi Saigon. I'm gonna go there, maybe get some coffee. You know, we're gonna just like hang out for a little bit before we go to Target and run the actual errands. But yeah, let's go. This marks the first of many hot girl coffee runs in the city. I got a little iced latte to start off the day. This summer, my two main priorities is to really grind on my career and to make friends. I really wanna push myself out of my comfort zone in these two aspects and hopefully grow a lot because of it. Ah, uh, how have I missed the smell of piss on every single street corner? We're back. I think of the summer as a level up from last summer. As you guys know, I was trying to heal from a breakup last summer and really just learn how to be on my own again. So I'm glad I had that group of friends and support system to really help me through that. But now I think I've grown a lot and finally feel really good being on my own. So I wanna push myself even more and really try to make it on my own in the city and find my community here. I just got done eating my banh mi and I just sit and chill in the park and I'm just so happy guys. I love the city so much. So nice to be back. So nice to be somewhere other than Michigan. I love going to this park. I think it's Columbus Park. It's the one right next to Chinatown because there's so many like old ladies and grandpas just like playing mahjong and playing cards and just it reminds me of like China. So I wish my grandma could come and play with them. But yeah. I think I am gonna go to Target now and actually do my errands and get hangers, get like trash cans, stuff like that. And we have to finish unpacking. And I'm actually gonna meet a friend for dinner today. I really thought I would be eating alone for like a week, but yeah. One day ahead. Let's go. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. It's o'clock right now and I just took a nap. 
I was so tired. I, I don't want to get in the habit of taking naps because I just feel like it's like a, a time suck. But I had to. I, I woke up at 4 today, so I was like, gotta, gotta take a nap. I'm gonna go get dinner with a friend right now. Actually, I'm probably just gonna eat my banh mi that I got for lunch because this summer, your girl's actually gonna try to save some money and spend, my, spend money wisely. Just look at that majestic sunlight, guys. I woke up at nine this morning and signed up for a berries class to really kick off my fitness regimen for the summer. Long story short, I died. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea after not working out for three weeks. Like the most exercise I would do at home would be the walk from my room to the fridge downstairs. But you know, no regrets. I at least stayed until the end. I persevered. That class taught me one thing and one thing only. I'm weak as shit. But afterwards, I went to Whole Foods to pick up some groceries and then went home to take a shower. And then I just sat down and began to work. That's the end of the video, guys. I'm really excited to share this summer in New York with you guys, so hopefully you will like it too. I plan to upload every Thursday and Sunday, so stay tuned as I share my trials and tribulations for your entertainment. But I really do hope that you guys have an amazing day. Comment any recs you guys have for New York, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.